Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Civilization 5. It's not Civilization Effect, unfortunately, but I figured I might as well bring out something Civilization related while I while we're waiting for the Mass Effect mod to finish. Because unfortunately I can't do Civilization Effect 3 until that's done. I could always do the other races, but now I want to try something new. I this is still a mod. This is instead of going. This is a. This is a modded map. A petri dish. Now I'm going to explain it so we don't spend too long at the start up screen. But I haven't played as the Osmans yet, and I thought that might be useful given that they are given their bonus for naval maintenance. So I'm just going to start it and explain later. Blessings of God be upon you, O great Emperor Suleiman. Your power, wealth, and generosity awe the world. Truly are you called magnificent. Your empire began in Bithynia, a small country in eastern Anatolia in the 12th century. Taking advantage of the decline of the great Seljuk Sultanate of Rum, King Osman I of Bithynia expanded west into Anatolia. Over the next century, your subjects brought down the empire of Byzantium, taking its holdings in Turkey and then the Balkans. In the mid-15th century, the Ottomans captured ancient Constantinople, gaining control of the strategic link between Europe and the Middle East. Your people's empire would continue to expand for centuries, at its height governing much of North Africa, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. Mighty Suleiman, heed the call of your people. Bring your empire back to the height of its power and glory, and once again the world will look upon your greatness with awe and admiration. Will you accept the job? Okay, so the petri dish is what it says on the tin. There are two. There are two kinds of maps. Um, aha. There are two kinds of maps with the mod. Hello. There is the regular petri dish, where, well, both maps are essentially a circular map surrounded by mountains. In the normal Petri Dish map, all of it is just normal terrain and places such as forests and jungles and uh, resources come in, you know, circular cells, such as a small clump of jungle. While in this one, this is ocean, where it's still a circular map surrounded by mountains, but the cells are instead patches of land that you start on. There are the larger ones, such as the one we're on, where uh, they tend to house capitals and then others um, they're essentially separated by small by coastlines huh maybe I should have moved Istanbul to the coast down here no, no matter at least it means that my capital can't be conquered by the coast so we've got two strategic resources, three if you count this, but basically two happiness ones, wine and silk. I've got a lot of hills here, so that'll be good for production, and we're on grasslands, meaning that our farms will be good. Now I'm, I, I've started, normally in my other videos I went straight for liberty, but nowadays I actually try going for tradition first, because it gives you extra culture to start a nice culture boost for the early game and helps increase the rate at which your borders expand which is, which is also good for early game for seizing territory after I take I generally don't bother much with the tradition policies I, I usually just unlock it then go straight for liberty even more silk we're gonna have plenty to trade if we ever want if we ever get around to interacting with others, which we will do. Ooh, and dies. So I'm thinking this would be good for another city location. They might clash a bit. But, ah, uh, hello, got a desert cell next to us. I considered also, because I could have gone for England, because they're a naval-based nation. Or maybe Polynesia, because their wayfinding ability will be very useful for seizing other cells and island islands earlier. 
In fact, when I first tested them up, I went for Polynesia. Shall the clay. But I decided I've never played the Ottomans before, and why not try something new? Yeah, it really would have been helpful to move Istanbul. Because the AI isn't exactly... I've never actually seen the AI do a coastal conquest, I think. Even more dies. And they're actually within range of Istanbul. This would be a good city location because it's on the coast and it's on a river. Hello, we've got a snow cell next to us. So it seems like the nearby islands have some pretty harsh terrain. Yeah, I'm going to need to sell a second city before I can explore the oceans. So I should get through, hopefully, get through Liberty quickly enough to get a new settler. Look at all those silks. So this is our island. It's a good island. It's got plenty of res it's got plenty of luxury resources. I'm not sure about strategic resources, but you never know. Maybe there's even a patch of hidden uranium there that we'll discover should we get to the modern era. Granary. Straight for citizenship. Now then. Help the city grow. And I should have gone that way, not over the river, but. Hello! The warriors are just trying to scoot away any last traces of the fog of war. I wonder if we will encounter Polynesia. Change production goes straight to the Great Library. And we can knock it down by 10 whole turns. Simply through two extra production. We definitely want sailing. We can't build boats yet. Oh, Carthage would have also been a possibility since they get a free harbour in every city and the Quintarine or Quintimarine or however you pronounce it I don't think we have mining yet but we'll get it eventually we're also going to need calendar because all of the strategic resources here require plantations and I think where's the plantations? Uh, I thought there was one from plantations. Culture from. Was that already taken? Ah, here it is. Oral tradition. Plus one culture from plantations. That would definitely be useful. So I'm going to go mining, then calendar. Or maybe calendar. Off the bat, though my mining would be useful for getting our production up. Hmm. These guys have discovered all they can, so you can just rest up in Istanbul until we learn how to embark you. So we learn how to make boats magically appear out of thin air to transport you through the waters. Next turn. Make more farms. No, it's a, I have that. I also downloaded an, another one which is a realistic interpretation of Europe based on the into the Renaissance scenario. And you know, it has the civilizations of Europe, such as the Celts, Britain, France, Germany, and all that, and they start in their 
actual locations. But, it's locked at marathon length, and that is far too long for me. Far too, and very much far too long for playthrough, because 20 minute videos for a marathon game, that might stretch into the hundreds. Or at least close to 100 if I get knocked out early. It does, the... You can play the map without the scenario requirements, but then again, it, but if you do that, you don't start in the actual locations, which which kind of kills the point. It does have a max turn limit of 1,500, but that's still a bit much. If I do find one that actually allows me to do it at, you know, maybe standard pace, uh, I suppose I consider it. Anyway, we've got plenty of farms now. Calendar in two turns, so you can start chopping down those trees. And I'll make a beeline. Whoa, that went quick. I'll make a beeline straight for the. Oh, wait. We need to learn how to chop down forests first. Oops. Aha, but we can claim the wine. And that's going to be four turns, so we'll head straight for the wine, then the dyes, and then the silk. And while we're at it, and that should give us the happiness necessary to set up a new city. First order of business after that will be to construct a trireme and explore the rest of the oceans. Or the coastlines, or the rivers, because they carry technically rivers. And the, construct and the description of the map in the mod it's pretty accurate because it basically involves civilizations growing like bacteria and uh, fighting over space. Maybe for another series of videos I'll do a militaristic civilization such as... Uh, well, any militaristic civilization. The meat. And do the normal map without the oceans. I'm still terrible at land combat, but... Six turns. We'll build the National College in 13. So I probably want to refrain from at least trying... Uh, at least... Optics would be useful. Yeah, we'll take it. So we were just we were just barely first into the classical era. And now we have a good amount of happiness, which will also give us a nice boost well a nice boost towards our golden age, which will further give our economy a jump start. So they can't work the wine, but they can work the dyes and the silk. So our culture will go up nicely then. And the Petri dish is locked at a large map, recommended with 20 city states and 10 civilizations, including you. You can change that. Might mess with the map a bit though. I mean, not actually mess with the coding of the map. Too many civilizations will cause things to get crowded, too few, and the map will be rather empty. Optics. Now our warrior, warriors can explore. Yes, they recommend that spot. And they can work the wine. So it's going to be five turns, it's going to take them three turns to get there. So I'll make them wait for a bit. Next we want... Bronze working. I don't think we're going to need much of a land military force unless they set up cities similar to Istanbul away from the coast. And we do have mining but I want to get this these silk worked as well. Or maybe I'll just get one silk worked 
get a couple of mines and then uh, da, 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 go for the plant other plantations. Denmark would have also been a possibility because Viking Fury improves your embark or it doesn't improve them, but it allows you only ha need to pay one movement point to embark and disembark units. You wait there. And Songhai would have also been a possibility because their units get promotions which improve their combat strength when they're embarked. So there are quite a few interesting choices, but I decided to go with the Ottomans. Although had I gone with Polynesia, that would have been an interesting name. The, Polyne the Polynesian Petri dish. Pet uh, yeah, Petri dish thingy. You get the idea. And again, Polynesia is more of a cultural civilization. I don't really no, like no, no. trying for a cultural victory because I still don't have Brave New World. I want it, but it's just I want to wait for a discount because I'm not swimming in money. Now we should get a scout. We should also get a granary because focusing on production is going to slow down growth. Granary. Grab archery. I haven't even found a city state yet. Do I have enough money to purchase something? Aha! Get a tri ring. We'll need to start exploring. The warriors can find cells or islands if you prefer and explore them or the tri ring because I'm pretty sure all the waters here or at least the majority of them will just be coasts. So the, even a tri room will be able to pretty much explore at will. So given time, the borders of these cities should cover the whole cell. Get a scout. We want to explore this place. Aha! There's plenty of... whoa! That's a lot of copper. Even. Aha! So that got us two techs one off the bat. Masonry. More dies here, so if we can work those, that will result in even more culture. Aha! We're equal with what's his face. We need to get some mines going, boost up Istanbul's production a bit. And I've got plenty of happiness, so I could actually set up a new city. But hello, who's this? Uh oh. That's a civilization, and I don't know who it is, but I think that's a colour of the Mongols. Look at all those. Get the scouts to explore this island. We want to see if we can get <laughs> another settler. Because we've got plenty of happiness. Of course our cities will be growing, but more cities is always a good thing. Get me some mines. We want that leads to civil service, but we also want that. Get some lumber mills so we can use the forests. Why are you back here? Hmm. This looks interesting. This is purely desert, but there is wheat, there is an oasis, and plenty of hills. So it would have some food, and a decent, very decent amount of production. Look at this, I like this. Unfortunately we can't set up a city on the oasis, I think. We could set it on one of the corners, and just stretch out, because one, two, three. 
it would be able to work all the wheat. 